Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add objects like shapes and lines in Adobe InDesign. Here we go. To draw a rectangle, click the rectangle tool in the right toolbar, or use the shortcut, the letter M, on your keyboard. Click and drag to draw your rectangle like this. To create a perfect square, hold down the Shift key as you're drawing, and no matter where your mouse goes, it'll remain a perfect equal-sided square. We'll scoot these over, and to draw a circle, click and hold the rectangle tool and go down to the ellipse tool, or use the shortcut, the letter L, on your keyboard. In the same way, click and drag to create an oval, or hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle. To resize your shapes, click the select tool, or the letter V, on your keyboard, and you can resize by either using the corner, or the top, or bottom, or a side. To keep themes proportionate as your original shape you drew, hold down the shift key as you're resizing. This will make sure all your proportions stay the same as the original shape that you drew. Another option is to hold the option or alt key to resize it from both sides at the same time, like this. Okay, let's bring our shapes in here and talk about rotating. To rotate your shape, Select it and put your cursor just outside one of the corners until your cursor turns to a curved arrow. Click and hold your mouse to rotate the shape around. You can also rotate at a specific angle using these tools up here in the top of your toolbar. Or sometimes I like to use this to just reset it back to zero. To draw a line, select the line tool in your toolbar or use the shortcut, the backslash key. Click and drag to draw your line. And to keep your line perfectly straight or in perfect 45 degree angle increments, hold down the shift key. To draw your line from the center point rather than one side, hold down the option or alt key as you draw your line. And to do both at the same time, keeping it perfectly straight and drawing from the center point, hold down both shift and option or alt key. And you can use the same methods to resize and rotate your line as I showed you with the rectangle and the circle. Just make sure you select the selection tool or the letter V on your keyboard. Then you can rotate with your curved arrow or use your rotating angles up here. Or you can resize your line holding down the option key from both sides at the same time like this. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.